Hello, everyone. Today for math, we are going to do lesson seven. It is on page 25. The materials needed, your quiet place to work, your math workbook, and a pencil. Today, we are going to work on making 10 when one add-in is eight. So we have been practicing making 10 when one part is nine. Now we're gonna practice when one part is eight. So to warm up, we're gonna do some counting. Today again, we're going to do the counting the say 10 way. All right, let's get started. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, one, ten, two, ten, three, ten, four, ten, five, ten, six, ten, seven, ten, eight, ten, nine, twenty. Now this time you're going I'm going to put the dot so you can know follow along for counting but this time you're going to count by yourself. Great job. Okay, again today we're also going to practice counting by twos. So we'll go through and we'll figure out all the ones we need to use while we're counting by twos and which ones we're going to skip. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Now, let's count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20. Something that helps me when I'm practicing my skip counting is in my brain I'm saying skip one, two, skip three, four, skip five, six, skip seven, eight, skip nine, ten, skip eleven, twelve, skip thirteen, fourteen, skip fifteen, sixteen, skip, skip seventeen, 18, skip 19, 20. Okay, for our lesson. So just like we've been practicing, we're gonna use our group of 10 to help us add, but this time we're gonna use eight instead of nine. So I'm looking at my picture and I see eight circles and six squares. So how do I get from eight to 10. Hmm, let's count. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need two more to make 10. So there's our 10. And now we're gonna see how many are left. One, two, three, four. So we're going to do 10 plus 4, and that equals 14. So 
8 plus 6 also equals 14. Now this is in your book. So again, make sure you're open to problem, to lesson 7, page 25. If you need another minute to find your page, just pause the video. So our problem here says, John has eight tennis balls. That's important. We're going to underline that sentence. Tony has five. We're also going to underline that sentence. That sentence is also important. How many tennis balls do they have in all? So we're finding out how many in all. Okay, that's also important. So we have, they already drew our picture for us. So we have our eight balls tennis balls for Johnny, for John, and five for Tony. So we're going to start by making our group of 10. So we have eight here, so we're going to use eight, and we need to borrow some more. So I'm going to count on eight, nine, ten. So I need two more to make ten. And I'm going to write ten in my circle. Make sure you're following along with me. Don't forget, this symbol up here with Miss Nicole and the pencil means you're writing and doing with me. Okay, so we made our group of 10. So we're going to write 8. Oh, sorry. 8 and how many more did we borrow? 1, 2. So 2. 8 and 2 make 10. And now we're going to find out how many in all. So we're, And we're going to use 10. 10, and 1, 2, 3, 3 more, make how many? 10, 11, 12, 13. So, going back to answer our question, how many do they have in all? John and Tony have 13 tennis balls in all. Number two. So, going over our direction, our steps, sorry, rather. We're going to draw our picture. We're going to circle and make a group of ten. We're going to write eight and two make ten. And then we're going to do our ten plus. Ten and blank. Okay, so those are our four steps. All right, so reading the problem together. Bob has eight reasons. That's important. Bob has eight. Underline. And Jenny has four. Jenny has four is important. Underline that as well. How many reasons do they have? Ooh, all together is a clue word. All together. So let's begin by drawing our picture. So I'm going to put a B here for Bob, and he has eight reasons. So I'm going to draw eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and draw your picture. And then we're going to do Jenny. So Jenny has four. One, two, Three, four. Again, if you need more time, you can always pause the video at any point to finish drawing your picture or anything. Okay, so that was step one. Now we need to do step two. Make a group of ten. So again, we're going to use our eight. And we're going to keep going. Eight, nine, ten. Circle and write the number ten. Now down here it says 8 and blank. How many did we need to make 10? 2, so we borrowed 2. And 8 and 2 make 10. And then the next step is our 10 and to find our total. So 10 and we have 2 left over here. 
and 10 and 2 make 10, 11, 12, 12. Because this is a word problem, we do have to answer our question. How many do they have all together? And it says Bob and Jenny have 12 raisins all together. Number three. There are three chairs on the right side of the classroom. So we're going to underline that. It's three chairs on the right. And eight on the left. So we're going to underline that. How many total chairs? So again, we're looking for the total are in the classroom. Okay, so step number one again is to draw a picture. So we'll put an R for the right and an L for the left. So on the right, there are three chairs. So one, two, three. And on the left, there are eight. So we're going to draw one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. We'll do this and then I'll erase this one here. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to circle and make our, our group of ten. So again, I'm going to start using my eight because it's the bigger number. So eight, nine, ten. I'm going to write ten in my circle. So then 8 and, how many did we borrow? 2 to make our group of 10. And then we have our 10 plus our one last one. So there's only one here. So 10 and one more is 11. So to answer our question, there are 11 total chairs. Okay, number four. So I'll read it with you and I'll help you underline and then you can solve this one by yourself. There are seven children sitting on the rug. So seven on the rug and eight children standing. How many children are there in all? So we'll have on the rug and standing. I'll Write your steps down for you again. Here's your steps. Draw your picture. Circle 10, 8, and 2, and then our 10 and. Okay, so those are your four steps. For your homework, I want you to do problems number 1 and problem number 2. So I will go through and I will read them, and then you can solve. Number one says, Meg gets eight toy animals and four toy cars. So you have animals as one group and cars as your other. How many toys does Meg get in all? You cause and solve. And then for problem number two, John makes six baskets in his first basketball game and eight baskets in his second. So the first game and his second game. And then on the back is numbers three and four. Number three says... May has a party. She invites seven girls and eight boys. So you'll have girls and boys. How many friends does she invite in all? Again, you can pause and solve. And Alec collects baseball bats. He has nine Mets and eight Yankees hats. How many hats are in his collection? So he has the Mets and the Yankees. When you have finished, please take a picture of all of the pages and send to Miss Nicole in your portfolio.